Okay, welcome to another wrestling figure toy hunt video. I'm at a nice town called Wangaratta. We're going to do a bit of toy hunting here. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you're a fan already, please give the video a like. All right, we're heading into the toy world. Now I've had some luck here before. They usually have some really good stuff. And uh, happy to say straight up, yes, the burnt fiend figure. Pretty cool figure, this one. Look at the detail. Um, I must say, I don't really know how you'd wrestle with it in the ring, but I guess it's more of a, a fun figure to have in, in the collection. Adam Cole, baby. This is a great figure. Of course, he's moved on to AEW. Now, this figure, is it, the, is it, it is the chase. All right, don't look too hard, but yes, looking at his trunks there, they are the camo trunks, and um, yes, they are the, ch this is, I beg your pardon, the chase variant of that figure. Really, really cool to see that. Um, Ric Flair from his WCW days, probably about the mid-90s, 93, 94, it's higher. Um, I like this figure. Wouldn't mind having it in the collection. Look at him there with his, uh, all his primped up face. Looks great. Like this figure. Um, as we move through, what else have we got amongst here? Bianca Belair, Elite. Great figure. We've seen this one before. We won't spend uh, too much time on that. Uh, oh, this is a good find. Basic Series 130, Grand Metallic. What a cool figure this is. An old new head sculpt. I believe the trunks look great, nice and colourful. This is the sort of figure that is great to play with. Uh, just looking through here, a, a bit of an older Jeff Hardy figure. I do like this one. I like the purple long sleeve hoodie. Great figure. That one, AEW, of course, have now got Jeff Hardy. They're all gone. They're all moving on. Here's a WWE guy. He's still around. AJ Styles. Look at that head sculpt. We've had that same head sculpt for quite a while. I'm sure we'll get a new one at some point. But the trunks all look great. Uh, AJ, they get him really well. I guess that's why they haven't uh, introduced a new head sculpt. Uh, also from the series, uh, Johnny Gargano. Cool figure, cool trunks. I uh, haven't seen this guy for quite some time. Could you let me know in the comments, is he still about? Is he back in NXT or has he been let go? Or, I, I don't know. Please let me know. Uh, sifting through and... Uh, keep things tidy as we always try and do here we go also from series 130 and this is a great find it is the giant the nigerian giant omos have a look at the size of this figure it is one of the biggest they've ever uh i've got to buy that figure that one i'm going to put him uh look i mean even just look at him next to jeff hardy here you can see just how much bigger this metal basic figure is even in the packets but uh looking at the whole series is pretty good series 130 and uh, i wonder if they've got that john cena let's keep sifting through they do here he is and i've got to say ba -bow. I mean, we'd get these painted t-shirts that are meant to replicate the t-shirts the wrestlers wear, but t-shirts are loose, you know, they hang over, they're not skin tight like that. That looks terrible, Mattel. Please, please, stop it. Uh, a Drew McIntyre figure, WrestleMania one, cool figure here as we just get it back into focus. Uh, very ripped, yeah, he's a uh, very, very ripped wrestling figure right there. Pretty accurate, I think he's in pretty good shape. And... Um, Keeping loose, someone back here in a bit of a damaged uh, card, and it's uh, Finn Balor. I'll let you have a little quick look at that one. Nothing too special. Finn Balor, basic. Uh, we'll put him back, and uh, yeah, another Drew, another John Cena, and uh, but this Omos, I'm going to buy this. We're going to keep hunting, but at the end of this video, I'm going to do a figure comparison with some of the other big wrestling figures they've released over the years they'll all or a few of the real big ones so stick around Groot it'll be a good one uh, as we move on to the next store it's the big W and uh, a bit of a nice art sculptor out the front of the car park here as we head down the aisle now uh, big W like Kmart like Target a lot of them here in Australia have stopped stocking WWE so it is a shame but I'm always hopeful I still go on the hunts and have a look oh that's a pretty cool gold Batman figure here they do have some uh, He-Man stuff We've got some of the new Masters of the Universe figures there Skeletor we know who that is but uh, yeah I haven't given up always on the hunt and hope that we do find something WWE but they still have some very cool things in here the Batman stuff They've got the Transformers. Look, there's the Sharktacon on the left there. And uh, 
Oh, an Insecticon up here. Oh, they've got all my old favourites from the mid-80s. In fact, a lot of these figures made their first appearance in the Transformers, the movie, the animated movie from 1986. Even this guy, Scourge. I highly recommend you watch that movie if you haven't seen it already. Uh, as we flip around to the other side of the aisle, I don't see anything here, so let's check out what else have they got. Any WWE or even AEW, gosh, you'd be hoping for that. No chance here in Australia. But uh, some Star Wars stuff. Neat Boba Fett uh, pop vinyl there. And this guy, the Death Star droid on big sale, $5.40 US. $8 Australian there. Unfortunately, not much success there, so we'll move on from there. But this is the fun part of the video. We're going to get Omos. We're going to rip him out of his packet. And we're going to do a bit of an in-ring figure comparison with some of the big guys. Now, Omos is a very large man. He stands at 7 foot 3. So he is pretty big, even in, not just in the figure, uh, in real life at all, in real life, of course. Let's have a look at who he matches up against in this first little contest. Who's going to get in the ring with him first? Uh, well, it's not someone very... It's the biggest little man, in fact, Ray Mysterio, standing at five foot six. So, yeah, up against Omos. I don't quite think he's going to stack up. He comes up to about his shoulder, so that's probably a little bit accurate as per real life. Sorry, Ray, you didn't make the grade. Um, now, the Hulkster, of course, from the basic series. This is one of my favourite figures of all time. I love when they come with accessories, and it does come with that removable headband. Hulk Hogan stood at six foot, seven inches tall, and up against Omos here. Uh, yeah, Omos, seven foot three. Unfortunately, Hulkster, you're out of here, brother. Moving on now to another another big guy, the big red machine, Kane. Okay, Kane stood at six foot ten inches, and well, that's getting close. It's only a few feet away, only a few inches away. I beg your pardon, but unfortunately, no, Kane, you're out of here. We need someone to step up. We need someone to step in the ring. Who's coming in over the top rope? Oh my gosh! Standing at uh, seven foot one inches, um, seven feet one inches is the great Carly and uh, yes I know what a lot of you are thinking this is a Jax Pacific figure and Omos is a Mattel basic so it's not the best comparison as far as their heights in real life go but I wanted to measure the two big figures here two of the biggest ever released uh, the giant Gonzalez the classics figure probably maybe would be a bit taller than both of these guys but I don't have that figure in my collection so unfortunately Omos you are smaller you are out of here the great Kali is the giant of all wrestling figures and there he is look guys hope you found that a little bit of fun I sure did making a little snippet video please subscribe to the channel please check out my other videos keep them going as long as we get views I'll continue to make them so take care everyone till next time bye bye